Chairlift Challenge is designed to take a minimum of 45 minutes to complete for students of all ages, using low-cost materials. The lesson explores how engineers develop transportation systems to operate in different and sometimes challenging environments. Prepare for the lesson by reading the lesson plan, reviewing the PowerPoint, and gathering the required materials. Here's how to implement the lesson with your students. To begin, divide the students into teams of three to four. Hand out the worksheet and materials and explain the challenge. You are a team of engineers given the challenge of designing and building a chairlift out of everyday materials. The chairlift must carry a ping pong ball up a rope of wire line from the valley to the mountain and back down from the mountain to the valley without the ball falling out of the chair. Teams will operate under the following constraints. Teams can only use the materials provided. Unused materials can be shared with other teams or materials may be traded. Begin by showing students the resource sheet and asking if they've ever seen an aerial lift or ski lift. Have them consider the challenges engineers face in developing transportation systems to operate in different and sometimes challenging environments. You might also mention that engineers must integrate safety features into their designs. Discuss how an aerial chairlift works and have them consider the weight their chairlift must carry and the safety features they must include as they plan their design. The PowerPoint slides can help with this. Teams will then work together to brainstorm solutions and draw a diagram of their planned chairlift on paper. Remind students to observe how other teams are tackling the challenge and consider how they might want to incorporate new features into their design. Teams next construct their chairlifts and test them within their team. Remember to encourage students to work together to troubleshoot issues they run into, as well as experimentation, since there are multiple solutions to the challenge. Teams may decide to completely change their design when in the manufacturing phase. They may also ask for additional materials or try different solutions as they build. That's great. Engineers learn from failure and then apply what they learned in their redesigns. All teams then present their designs to the class and demonstrate their chairlift. Each student team should then complete a reflection sheet and share experiences with the class. Finally, celebrate the fact that these students designed a solution using their creativity while learning how engineers impact the world.